Hey creators, if you're new to video editing, you've probably encountered a bunch of challenges along the way. But fear not, in this video, we've got some awesome editing tips tailored just for beginners. Get ready to take your video editing skills to the next level. Keep watching. Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Tip number one, Filmora cross-platform. Filmora makes it easy to edit your videos across multiple devices, including Android phones, Android tablets, iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, and Windows. You can also save your unfinished projects on the Filmora cloud and continue editing them on your phone or tablet whenever you like. Tip number two, text-to-speech. Did you know that in Filmora, you can easily convert your text to speech? Just drag the default title onto the timeline, type in your text, for example, Filmora is the best video editor, select the text, go to the settings panel, and choose the text to speech option. You'll be able to listen to different voices before selecting one. Wondershare Creativity Simplified. Wondershare Creativity Simplified. Wondershare Creativity Simplified. Make sure to check the auto match option, then hit the generate button to add an audio track to the timeline. Tip number three, beat detection. Filmora makes it super easy to edit your videos to the beat. You can use it on your computer or your phone. In the mobile app, just pick your music, go to the menu and choose the beats option. Then you can add beats and rhythm to your video by selecting the beats. It will automatically add little yellow dots to show the beats in your music. Then you can sync your video to the beats. If you're using the desktop version, just select your music, right-click, and choose the Smart Edit tool. Then you can use the beat detection feature to add small orange markers to the beats in your music. This way, you can easily edit your video to match the beats. Tip number four, Compound Clip. Did you know that Filmora has a really cool feature called Compound Clip? It's super handy for keeping your timeline neat and organized. To use it, just select all the clips on your timeline, right-click, choose the Compound Clip option, give it a name, and click OK. This will merge all the clips into a single track. If you ever need to edit the clips within the Compound Clip, simply double-click on it to access the individual clips. Tip number five, Keyframe and Keyframe Panel. Filmora is great because it supports keyframes. This means you can use keyframes on your videos, images, and even your audio. You can control the keyframe graph using the keyframe panel. Just click on the keyframe panel to add keyframes, then select the keyframe point and use the keyframe graph to manipulate the movement of the clip. Tip number six, AI caption, speech to text. Did you know that you could easily generate AI captions using the speech to text feature in Filmora? It's super simple. Just select your clip or audio, head over to the title section, and on the left menu, you'll find an option for AI captions. Click on it and then select text to speech. After that, click on transcribe and a new window will pop up. From there, you can choose the language of the audio and the language for translation. You can also select between clips or the entire timeline. And here's the best part. You can choose between SRT for normal captions or titles for animated captions. Once you've made your selections, just click on Generate and voila! Your captions will be ready in just a few seconds. Cool, right? Tip number seven, speed ramping. Now you can make amazing slow motion videos with the speed ramp. You have complete control over the speed using a graph. Just pick your footage, head to the settings panel, and adjust the speed to create a slow motion video. You can easily reduce the speed in the uniform speed tab and choose optical flow from the AI frame interpolation for a great slow motion effect. With speed ramping, you can pick speed presets or create a custom speed graph. Plus, the AI frame interpolation helps to make the effect super smooth. Tip number eight, color grading. If you're just starting out with color grading in Filmora, don't worry, it's super easy. All you need to do is select your clip, and then use the sliders to adjust things like vibrance, saturation, exposure, brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. You can even get more precise by using the HSL feature to adjust specific colors in your clip. And if you want to take things up a notch, you can use curves and a color wheel to really make your clip stand out. These are just a few tips for beginners, but there's plenty more to learn in our upcoming videos. 
In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know which tip is your favorite and feel free to show off your creative projects using Filmora. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you next time.